Recently, we got to watch Scranton native Matt McGloin play professional football again. The new XFL made its debut earlier last month. McGloin, of course, under center for the New York Guardians. However, due to the coronavirus, the league canceled its remaining games after just five weeks of play. But those five weeks still plenty eventful for McGloin, who's the subject of our sports spotlight. Here's AJ Donatoni with more. Matt McGloin is back home after his latest run in pro football, this time with the XFL. For me, I enjoyed being, you know, the guy again. You know, if it was, if it was just for a short time, I really did. That's one of the reasons why I went back is to be, be a starting quarterback again and to play at a high level. McGloin made his debut with the New York Guardians on February 9th and led the team to a 23-3 victory with a touchdown through the air and on the ground. It was his first game action as a pro since 2016 with the Raiders of the NFL. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, in a first-year startup league, um, you know, to get that TV exposure um, and, again, to play at a professional level was a, was a fantastic opportunity for everybody. The West Scranton native used that national audience to air his grievances in week two. The Guardians were getting drubbed at halftime, and McGloin made a lot of headlines for his unfiltered remarks. We need to change the whole entire game plan at halftime. It's embarrassing for us here as an offense, so a lot of things we want to fix and correct. I've never been one to hold back words or the way I feel. Um, I think this is an emotional game. Uh, it's a game I'm passionate about, and I think something that people need to remember is that it's my job. This is what I do for a living. This is what I work extremely hard for every single day. But now that job has been stopped in its tracks. Like so many others in his profession, McGloin isn't quite sure what's next, but says he's proud of his journey from West Grand to Penn State to the NFL and beyond. I have no regrets. You know, I never have. Um, this is coming from somebody who wasn't supposed to play college football. So uh, I'd like to think, you know, I got the most out of my, uh, my ability and my talent. Um, so. Uh, you know, it's been quite a ride, man, it really has. 